Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. We're in day seven of our solemn September assembly. Many prophetic voices throughout the earth are saying September is a pivotal month to not react to when the enemy is attacking, but to initiate, to be on the offense, to advance. We're not counterattacking his attack. We're not waiting. We're raising the hedge. We're getting filled with oil. We're positioned and poised. And we're setting our sail. We're waiting for the wind of the Holy Spirit to blow. Now, before I go into prayer, I will be live September 7th. That is today on YouTube, September 7th, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can hit the live button under the search Rob Wood 1, R O B B Wood, the number one. And then Tuesday, September 8th, I'll be live on Zoom at 8 p.m. with Pastor Daner Coverstone from Kentucky. This is the pastor that's had the dreams. You can see three dreams by Pastor Dana on YouTube. It's millions and millions of views. It's gone viral. The Lord's showing this man of faith what's coming on the earth. Uh, he's suggesting that there are things coming that we better be braced for. So the Zoom code for September 7th, 8 p.m. is 860 Six one zero five. That's eight six zero two eight one eight six one zero five. We're using uh, the foundation of Joel chapter one verse thirteen. Gird yourselves, lament you priest. Well, you who minister before the altar, come lie in sackcloth. You who minister to my God, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, and cry out to the Lord. Father, we're crying out. We're pleading. We're asking and we're petitioning you to hold back any judgment, any wrath. We're asking for the grace of God to envelop your people. I'm praying for a strong church, for a strong backbone, first of all, in the pulpits in America and then all throughout the earth. Father, there would be no more compromise, no more kids games, a lot more praying and, all, you know, a lot more praying and a lot less playing. Hallelujah. And Father, I believe you have spoken to me. If my people will repent, then I will relent. Lord, we even pray for these elections in November. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know the best man for the job. You've picked him, you've appointed him, and you've anointed him. So we're praying and anointing into this. And we're praying for peace around the elections we're asking lord you to cool down and chill down these protests these radical protesters lord let them be saved we're praying for any radical protesters or groups that want to be violent or hurt or loot or have you know just do damage to people and burn we're asking the love of god to be upon them in the name of jesus we're praying for the youth of this nation to be radical, to be on fire for Jesus, to have a testimony, to share their faith, to not back down. Father, we're praying for the harvest. You said don't wait four more months. The harvest is now. It's ripe. You said send laborers, thrust them into the harvest. We're praying for a sharp sickle for every believer all throughout the earth. And Jesus, you said go ye into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature, make disciples of nations. Friends, thank you so much. We love you. Now, in the YouTube live tonight, in the chat, the chat room, I'm going to try and move in the prophetic. Sometimes I can do that. I'm not going to add to a takeaway. If the Lord gives me a word, if you got a specific prayer request, that'll be fine. I'll try and prophesy and pray and decree over your situation. Friends, it'd be an honor again if you'd subscribe to the channel. I'm burning shows every day. I'm going after the Lord beyond being on TV for almost 10 years in New York, seven secular TV stations, 49 shows a week preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, along with owning a business. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur financier, which is, which is irrelevant. But friends, it's the great hour for the church of Jesus Christ. It's great, great, great time of great expectancy and harvest. Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine, 
for your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Thus say the gross darkness is going to cover the land. We know it's coming. But friends, we're positioned. We know Jesus is on our side. And if Jesus is in your boat, it's going to float. And if Jesus is in your side, you will never go down. The Lord's going to undergird you, his church, your loved ones. The Bible says, if God be for us, who or what can be against us? See you tonight live. YouTube in the comment section, if you're going to join me, uh, just put, I'll be there. Bless you in Jesus' name.